Let me introduce you to another fish parasite that many aquarium keepers of tropical fish may encounter. Trinigyrus. Ancestrus, commonly known as bristlenose catfish, are popular aquarium fish. They can coexist with many kinds of fish, ranging from small, non-aggressive schooling fish to large, monster fish. They are ideal for cleaning, perfectly handling algae growth and maintaining the beauty of your aquarium from the inside. Ancestrus are hardy fish, tolerant of various water parameters, making them highly recommended for beginner aquarists. However, even these resilient fish can get sick. It is known that gill monogenean flukes exhibit high species specificity. For example, the species from Triancoratus genus will parasitize gouramis. While the species Ciadicletrum variabilum parasitizes discus. Ancestors are no exception. These fish thrive in the freshwater ecosystems of Latin America where they co-evolve with their parasites over millions of years. The gill fluke we found on Ancestrus is a representative of the genus Trinigyrus. The members of this genus parasitize Loricarida fish, such as Pterigoplichthys and Hypostomus. Currently, approximately 10 species have been identified in the genus Trinigyrus. But given the biological diversity of Loricaridae catfish, scientists probably will discover many new species of flukes. Precisely identifying the species infesting Ancestrus is challenging. Unfortunately, scientific literature provides limited information about these parasites. For accurate identification, molecular genetic analysis remains the most effective method. The attachment disc of our Trinigyrus like other members of the Dactylogiridae family, consists of 14 hooks, 4 dorsal and 10 ventral. Nonetheless, the shape of the base differs significantly. For example, the disc of Ciadicletrum is small and round, whereas in Trinigyrus, the body widens towards the bottom, forming a triangular base with 10 fingers, each equipped with a small hook. This gives the worm a rather amusing appearance. Another distinguishing feature of this genus from other dactylogyrids is the absence of light-sensitive eye spots at the interior end of the body. However, like other members of the family, Trinigyrus is an egg-laying parasite. The eggs have a distinct oval shape. We managed to capture the moment of egg-laying. Many dactylogyrid eggs have special projections at the ends that help them attach to fish gills. Trinigyrus is unique in this aspect as well, forming long threads that help secure the eggs in place. Detecting gill fluke infection in Ancestrus isn't straightforward. Due to the small size and complex gill structure, it is extremely difficult to take a gill scrape for microscopic analysis. Still, if you notice that the fish have become weakened, frequently rise to the surface to gulp air, are losing weight, have become pale, and are dying, it makes sense to treat them for gill flukes using Escha GDX. Thus, it's important to monitor the behavior of Ancestrus and respond to early signs of illness. Regular care Prevention and timely treatment will help avoid serious consequences and maintain the health of your aquarium.